It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben. Now let's dive in. So Bitcoin testing that 40,000, even breaking over again up to almost 41,000. It looks like it's trying to start building support at 40,000. If we hold 40,000 as support, then we're going to go up and test this downtrend. Break of that, we could see Bitcoin back up to 50,000. Looking pretty good here, but if we get rejected, expect a pullback probably to 36 or 35. Ethereum had pushed back up to 2350, but having some issues there, so we're currently building some lower highs. Draw this downtrend right here. Need to see this downtrend break. So Ethereum needs to break over 2350 to get back up and start testing that 2400. We want to see it break 2400. If it can't hold where it's trying to hold now, which is about 2300, yeah, right across here, then it will probably drop below the 10 day and could come back down to the 50 or maybe that 2200 area. There's the tops of those candles there. Now it does look like it may have that little bit of pullback as it is curling over. But it is still early in the day, so we'll see how things work out by the end of the night. Cardano still pretty much following Ethereum, waiting for that Ethereum to break through 2400. I think when Ethereum can do that, then Cardano will break over this 145, 150. This has been a pretty nice slow consolidation phase on Cardano, and we are out of the downtrend. At some point, I'm expecting this to pop. There's no reason that it shouldn't right now. But if for some reason it does crack below 120 again, then we could see it back down to a dollar. We don't want to see any of that. We want to see it hold 125 where it's trying to hold and then bounce off of there back up to test that 140. CLV actually got out of... But as you can see, it has that little pop. It was getting pretty low there, cracking below that $1.10. So I moved my money over to NMR. But it did get a pop back up, 132, and is above all the EMAs at the moment. We just need to see the 10-day, the green line here, cross above the 50-day, which is the blue line. Breaking over that little short-term downtrend that shook me out. Uh, but CLV could get a pop. I'm still holding ICP, but ICP is looking like a head and shoulders pattern. Head here, shoulder and shoulder. So if it doesn't hold $40, I'll be locking out that profit. But we are building some higher lows here as of recent. So if it can hold that 40, then we should see it back up for a test of 50. This is one of those low supply ones, so it is very volatile. It has big pops up and it also has big drops down. So if you're going to be swinging something like this, you got to be ready for that volatility. Polygon Matic looking a little rough. Having trouble trying to stay above a dollar. Needs to hold a dollar. We don't get some type of bounce off of a dollar here in the next day or two for a break of a dollar five for it to get back up in this little channel then Polygon may have a pullback to 95 cents. Pretty strong selling pressure there above $1.05 as it just kind of rolled over. Not too much for top gainers today. CLV is the highest gainer at 11%. Uh, next is STORJ. It had a big pop yesterday up over $1 to $1.12 and it's just trying to hold a dollar support right now. If it can hold a dollar support though, it is above these EMAs. We could see another bounce to push up maybe to that 115 area. Still holding my CGLD swing. You can see that it is right there at the downtrend. So I'm looking for a break of this 270 of the downtrend for CGLD to run to $3. If it doesn't break this downtrend, probably by tonight, then it's going to start just selling off down the downtrend. Looks like it may try it tonight. Amp is one to keep on watch as it looks like it's trying to break that 7.5 area if it can break that 7.5 area it's got room up to eight and then maybe even nine so for a cheap crypto like this running two or three cents could mean some big gains if you have enough of those coins uh, ampas definitely want to keep an eye on tonight for a possible pop though 
Filecoin is one that I was talking about possibly breaking out. It's still not able to break the downtrend. So you can see the downtrend is still in there, but it is trying to hold the 50 day. If it can hold the 50 day at 48, it could curl back up for another test of 50. And if it can break 50, it would be breaking the downtrend and we could see it start to push up again. Maybe that 555 uh, before it goes on a, a big run if it doesn't get held up there. So Anchor has been running the past couple of days, but it did get held up at 9 cents getting rejected. But it is rolling up off of the 10 day moving average. If it holds its 10 day moving average, it could remain bullish and continue to push up. It is a possibility. Yeah, it's a possibility we may see Anchor uh, up to 10 cents here soon if it can break over this 9 cent area. So it's the same story as all week. If Bitcoin can break 40K and Ether can break 2400 then we should see a lot of the altcoins follow behind them and have some nice rips. We're seeing some uh, already getting some rebounds off of those low areas. Some of them are still lagging behind, looking bearish. But the best thing that we got going right now is there's more volume in the market, more people buying and selling cryptos than we've had in the past couple of weeks. So a little bit of interest coming back in. I'm starting to see more commercials again. A lot more talk about Bitcoin as the dollar is decreasing in value. So we'll see what happens. But I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bullish. Starting to feel like we may be getting ready for that second bull run of the year here coming up. But we don't have a crystal ball, so I very well could be wrong. So if there's any coins that I'm not currently covering on a weekly basis that you would like me to cover, leave them in the comments down below and let me know your thoughts on the direction of the crypto market. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.